Hello and welcome to the course of uh, Computer Network Part 2 and uh, in uh, Computer Network Part 2 uh, as, again a uh, syllabus is uh, divided into five units. Uh, the first unit is all about routing algorithms in which we will study link state and uh, uh, distance vector uh, routing algorithms and many more for TCP IP protocol suit and internet. Then our second unit is all about link layer and local area network. It is all about our uh, uh, link layer protocols and how to design local area networks. We will have much in it. Our third unit is all about multimedia networking. So you all must be aware about YouTube and all. So uh, that multimedia networking comes under this particular unit and we will study that in our third unit. The fourth unit is uh, network management, which uh, in which we will study about SNMP protocol, which stands for S, uh, Simple Network Management Protocol, which is used for managing the whole network which we have designed and which we have uh, learned how to design that network. So uh, to manage that particular network through a protocol uh, is a very interesting task. And that protocol name is SNMP, Simple Network Management Protocol, comes under uh, Unit 4. And the last but not least, Unit 5 is all about uh, network programming in which we will study about how to design sockets for, uh, for the particular processes. And uh, sockets are uh, required for the communication purpose. And we will, we will see in our uh, Unit 5 that how we can design a socket for a particular program, how we can bind IP address with that particular socket, how we can send uh, and receive messages through that particular socket. So unit 5 is all about socket programming. So uh, that is how uh, we'll go in this particular uh, part of our computer network. So uh, these are the goals of, uh, goals of our chapter that after completing unit 1 we'll be able to uh, uh, solve uh, routing problems how to do broadcasting and how to do multicasting so that is all about uh, our unit uh, 1 and uh, this is the outline of our uh, unit 1 in which we'll study we'll start with link state uh, routing algorithm then we'll study distance vector then hierarchical routing then uh, routing in internet that means tcp ip protocol suit and here we will learn three uh, routing protocols uh, first one is rip which stands for uh, routing information protocol the second one is ospf which stands for open shortest path first protocol and the third one is bgp which stands for border gateway protocol and followed by broadcasting and multicasting so uh, before uh, going into the detail of uh, our routing part, let me just uh, give you an idea again about the network layer. Uh, network layer is the uh, top third layer in TCP IP protocol suit which is used for uh, providing end-to-end uh, -end communication. As you can see in this particular diagram at the right side of your slide that uh, we have uh, this particular source and we have this particular destination and uh, network layer is responsible for providing the physical connection between this source to this destination and uh, as you can see network layer is used uh, across the uh, path in all the routers which are uh, coming in a way to the destination so unlike your uh, uh, transport layer uh, unlike your transport layer uh, net you will find network layer in all the nodes which are uh, coming in a way to the destination so uh, as you can see in the animation that at the network layer at the source side network layer encapsulates its header in it and uh, uh, that that particular uh, that segment becomes packet and that packet uh, follows the route and reaches to its destination 
so how how this this task is done at network layer that we will learn in this particular unit so these are the two uh, key functions of our network layer forwarding and routing i hope you are aware about forwarding and routing but let me let me give you a, uh, again a brief idea about these two things that uh, routing means uh, tracing the path from source to destination in a, in the network uh, uh, if if you have to trace a path from one node to the other node that that particular thing is called routing and here it says that determine route taken by packets from source to destination so in a particular network tracing the path of a particular packet from source to destination is called routing and forwarding means at a particular router when, when that particular packet comes to that particular router that particular router forwards that particular packet from its input port to the output port so that particular thing is called uh, forwarding but th that forwarding is done with the help of routing because with the help of routing algorithms which are used for finding the shortest path between two uh, end systems so here you must know the difference between routing and routing algorithms routing means determining route taken by packets from source to destination and routing algorithms are used for determining the shortest path between two end nodes so with the help of routing algorithms we design uh, we design routing uh, uh, tables and uh, with the help of those routing tables we forward the data at a particular router from the input port to the appropriate output port of a particular router uh, we'll see this particular thing in more detail so uh, here you can see it's it's a, a small network which you can see with the six router in it and this is the router and this is the packet which is coming to its input port and this particular router is got a routing table which is designed with the help of routing algorithm so in this particular routing table we have got two columns the first one is the header value and uh, the second one is output link so uh, header value means the IP addresses and output link uh, means the serial ports of the routers so when a particular packet arrives to this particular router this particular router uh, uh, takes out the uh, destination IP address which you can see in this, this particular case is 0111 and then that particular router scans this particular destination IP address in its routing table and here you can find a match and against this particular value you will find a port number or a output link which says 2 so this packet has to forward to serial port number 2 to get to the destination in a shortest way so that uh, how it, it works so here you can see both the things um, routing table routing the work of routing uh, algorithm and forwarding so here you can see routing algorithm determines end-to-end -end path through the network that means it, it will get you the shortest path between two end systems and with the help of that path you will design the forwarding table or routing table and then uh, once you get the routing table you just need to forward this particular packet from the input port to the appropriate output port so that your your packet can reach its destination in a shortest way so that is how it's done so these are the two main tasks performed by network layer data forwarding and routing so that is, that is how it goes you can see uh, forwarding table determines local forwarding at this particular router local forwarding from input port to the output port with the help of this particular routing table which is designed with the help of routing algorithm and uh, routing algorithms are used for finding the shortest path between two end systems in a network so that is how it goes 
again uh, now you can see uh, it's it's a simple uh, network in which we have got six routers which are connected with links and we have got uh, link costs as well in it so you can you can uh, uh, relate this particular uh, small network with a graph as you can see in this particular graph you will find n number of nodes and uh, uh, e, e number of links which are connecting these uh, routers together so it's it's just a simple case of uh, uh, considering a network as a graph and you can see the set of links uv ux vx vw and so on so that is how uh, it goes we, you just need to consider uh, this particular network as a graph and then you can solve the routing uh, problems so uh, here is the most important uh, part of this particular lecture in which we will learn uh, about the classification of routing algorithms how we have classified our routing algorithms into uh, two major parts uh, so you can see over here that we have two types of uh, um, routing uh, algorithms global and decentralized in uh, global routing algorithms all the routers have the complete knowledge of a particular network and in decentralized routing algorithms router knows only about their uh, neighbors so it's it's like uh, in this particular scheme we will uh, use the iterative uh, approach to solve the problems so uh, that is how it goes and here is the another classification static or dynamic in static route changes slowly over the time in dynamic route changes uh, more quickly periodic updates in response to the link cost so uh, uh, this particular uh, slide will give you the exact uh, picture of the uh, classification of routing algorithm or you can say protocols mm, so we have got two uh, domains interdomain and intradomain routing protocols or algorithms are divided into two parts interdomain and intradomain interdomain uh, used to provide routing to multiple autonomous systems now you must be thinking uh, what is this particular autonomous system is so let's let's go back to a particular slide this one now this this particular small network with six routers in it you can consider this particular network as an autonomous system autonomous system is nothing but a geographical area or it's a collection of routers under the same administrative and technical control so you can consider this small network as an autonomous system if this autonomous system runs under the same administrative and technical control and uh, this particular autonomous system has got a uh, number which is used for identifying this particular autonomous system so uh, across the globe we have uh, uh, divided our globe into uh, n number of uh, autonomous systems and then we have connected those autonomous systems together uh, for creating a single network at, at uh, this particular point so uh, i hope uh, you are clear with the autonomous system part let me give you a brief idea uh, once again about the autonomous system autonomous system is nothing but it's a collection of routers under the same administrative and technical control or you can say uh, a particular geographical area where you have the same technical and administrative control so this network can be considered as autonomous system in which we have we can see six routers are connected together with the help of different uh, link costs and you can have uh, more autonomous systems and then you can connect all those autonomous system to create a big network which we call a uh, internet so here uh, what i mean to say is the protocols are divided into two parts inter, inter domain and intra domain in inter domain routing protocols uh, 
this particular uh, protocols are used for providing routing to multiple autonomous systems and intra domain means it is used for providing routing inside an autonomous system so i hope the difference is uh, clear for inter domain routing protocols and intra domain routing protocols intra domain routing protocols are those routing protocols which are used for providing uh, routing uh, inside autonomous system and inter domain routing protocols are those routing protocols which are used for providing routing to multiple autonomous systems to uh, to connect them and to provide uh, routing to multiple autonomous system comes under this particular category so uh, let's let's explore uh, this particular thing first intra domain routing protocol in intra domain routing protocol we have two uh, types of routing algorithms the first one is global routing algorithm as we have discussed it uh, a couple of uh, slides back global and decentralized global routing algorithms are those routing algorithms in which all the nodes present in a network have the complete information about the network so that is why we call it global routing algorithms and decentralized routing algorithms are those routing algorithms in which uh node present in a network only knows about its neighboring nodes node uh, doesn't have the complete information of a network so uh, we have to solve problems based on global routing algorithm and decentralized routing algorithm we need to learn the process how to find the shortest path with the help of these two uh, different types of intra domain routing protocols so a uh, global routing protocol uh, routing algorithm uh, is all about link state given by dick strauss and uh, ospf is a link state protocol which stands for open shortest path first the decent example of decentralized routing algorithm is distance vector given by balman ford and rip routing information protocol is a distance vector protocol now uh, come to inter domain category in inter domain category we have only one protocol which is or algorithm which is used for uh, providing routing to uh, multiple autonomous systems uh, is called path vector uh, algorithm which is also called border gateway protocol so this is the complete classification of routing algorithms which are uh, broadly classified into two domains inter domain and intra domain intra domain routing algorithms are used for providing uh, routing inside a autonomous system and inter domain routing uh, algorithms are used for providing routing to multiple autonomous systems and in intra domain category we have got two types of routing protocols global routing algorithms or uh, protocols or decentralized routing algorithms or protocols example of global routing algorithm is link state which is also called <coughs> ospf open shortest path first uh, uh, if you consider uh, in a tcp ip protocol suit or in internet case and uh, decentralized example of decentralized routing algorithm is distance vector routing algorithm given by balman ford which is also called rep which stands for routing information protocol so that is how we have uh, uh, broadly classified uh, routing algorithms into two broad categories so in our next lecture we will start uh, learning uh, how to solve uh, problems in link state routing algorithms or how to how to find a shortest path between two nodes in a network with the help of global routing algorithm thank you very much